hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel oh my goodness it's been a long time it's been like three weeks i've missed you guys so much i know you do not miss me but it's okay anyways if it's your first time here my name is inches i'm a nigerian youtuber that's currently based in toronto canada so i moved here about let's see i think a month ago and yeah i'm just trying to settle down that's why i haven't really posted anything or said anything over um over here but today i'm going to answer questions that you asked me in my comment section um some of those questions i've tried to reply some of them i haven't so hopefully you get to see your questions being answered today um there are not a lot of questions so this should be a very very short video but yeah if it's your first time here please don't forget to subscribe um hit the notification bell and you know do all of those nice things for me but most especially please 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 subscribe 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 all right so i'm going to answer start answering the questions i did get some questions from um instagram i cannot remember all of those questions but i'm hoping that some of the questions that people asked me here are related or almost the same as the ones on instagram and if it's not i'm going to still make subsequent videos about the things i did to come here as an international student so do not fret okay so the first question is what is it like over there so to be honest i wish i could answer that question extensively but i mean you can check on me six months from now and i'm going to answer that question but right now i don't know too much to tell you oh this is what it's like here but um um settling down i realized that the market the housing market here is crazy just like lagos i think even worse but it is crazy i have been trying to look for a place to live to lay my head for the past one month okay maybe not up to one month but yeah approximately one month and it's been crazy um the weather right now is not too bad um it's not too hot and it's not too cold so it's just okay it's perfect um yeah i guess that's the first question we're going to go to the second one um i think this one is from s yeah esther she says congratulations thank you um please what hair extension did you use it's beautiful i know it's beautiful i keep telling people that this is one of the best extensions to use because first of all it's very lightweight all of these things you're seeing in my head i mean it's really tiny but it is light it is so light it's so comfortable it helped it helps my hair grow so that's why i'm using it that's not the question she asked me but let me answer the question uh what extension did you use i used um the brand name is gold the brand name is gold and then the product name is afrobreed so you might want to you might actually want to check that out because i really really think it would be nice um especially if you have like um natural hair like per not permed hair um yeah so the next question is from Oluwa Tosin and he asked please can one way ticket be booked on egypt air i believe every airline should have a one way ticket accessibility i think you can actually book one way on every airline but egypt air yes it's possible for you to book one way tickets i mean if you're talking about an international flight of course it should have to be it has to be an international flight because i'm guessing you're in nigeria but if not yeah you can book um a one way one way ticket on egypt air um next question is from dami lola she asked um did egypt air ask for covid test yes and no personally for me they didn't ask me for covid test because i stated and proved that i had um i was fully vaccinated right but i have some people who traveled with me and they had to have their covid test with them basically what i'm trying to say is that they would ask you for your covid test if you're not fully vaccinated right yeah um adizi asked me the next question and she asked which school and what course so i'm um in humba college and i am studying global business management um okay this is my question jerry helen asked hey please how long did your visa process take so my visa process took approximately one one month from start to finish but right after biometrics i'll say three weeks right 
because i mean biometrics is the last thing that you do before you start waiting on the decisions or updates from ircc so once i i submitted or i did my biometrics right and it was updated it took three weeks for me to get a response um, requ um requesting for my passport yeah um next question is from marvick he asked or she asked please did you collect your study permits before claiming your baggages right um i think for every port of entry for international students right i think actually for anybody but for international students i think they will let you like they'll separate you from like visiting these um, um visitors or work permits visitors right and you have to do all of those things maybe submit some documents do one or twos here and there and then they'll give you a study permit before you actually go claim your your luggage so yes i think you have to have your study permit before you claim your luggage right yeah um abundi of lagos asked what airline didn't give you snacks please when i saw this question i was like hey what's this guy talking about so i don't think i mentioned that but i did mention it in my last video my vlog the early part of the vlog um it was eric a eric a did not give us any snack they gave us one hopeless bottle of water and the last time we tra i traveled using eric a was in december last year or actually january this year yeah and i asked someone one of the air hostess i asked her i said please why do you guys not serve snacks because like i knew we're paying a lot of money and she was like oh it's the covid which kind of dirty <laughs> okay the thing is it's eric that did not save us or rather that did not give me snacks which is very frustrating because you're very i was very hungry <laughs> i'm always very hungry after every flight but they do not serve any snacks and they're talking about it is this and it is that but yeah it was eric m next question is from Brittany evans she asked um please did you need a transit visa to travel aside your permit and what airline did you use so i did not need a transit visa why do i keep doing this i'm so sorry um i did not need a transit visa however some people have actually had to get a transit visa because they were maybe they had layovers in like countries that needed transit visa so for me i used egypt air and i landed at cairo before um toronto right so no i did not need i did not need a transit visa but i think you should um be careful when you're booking flights so you know which countries or um need transit visa or not so just be careful on that about that rather okay so the next question is from victor he says um i will be glad to know all the requirements and the cost of everything as an international student so i think i did re i actually replied this 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 um, what do we call it this question i think i replied the question but um to be honest i don't have all the requirements and all the cost to be um of everything as an international student because i'm still trying to figure that myself but i would say to you that you should check the um official cic website and get all of the, um, that information because i don't think any person or anybody is going to give you all the requirements and all the costs as an international student because it's very relative to your own situation your program you know all of that good stuff so please try and do your research on youtube i mean there are people who have um done videos on the requirements as international students i mean not all the requirements but some of the important requirements as as an international student i'm going to try and do some videos um on that as well but yeah i can't give you all the requirements right because i'm not an agent i'm not licensed to even give you like professional advice so yeah that's that i think this is all yeah i think it's all i i remember one question that someone asked me on instagram i hope the person actually does come back and watch this video he asked what are the cheapest universities or colleges i can't remember which but it's the same thing um for international students the thing is i don't know the cheapest colleges or um the affordable colleges in canada but i know that i watched a few videos on um affordable universities or colleges from other youtubers here on youtube so 
I would advise that you actually check them out. I'll try and link their videos or their channels on in the description so you have you know access to that information. And maybe later on I might you know do that research, but I know it's it's an extensive research because like I mean you have to know that it's really cheap, so you have to keep searching and searching and searching. But I don't know if I can do it, but hopefully I can get to it. If not, I'm going to um link um the channels that I watched um before coming here and you can you can watch it as well so yeah i think that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed this um video if you did please leave a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell please ask me more questions if you think i did not answer anything any question here don't um don't hesitate to ask me questions in the comment section in this video and i'm going to definitely get to it always so. anticipate the videos that i bring out please <laughs> or that i put out please do that um i think i've said everything i need i did that i needed to say why am i stuttering i i'm guessing that i've said everything that i needed to say thank you guys so much for your support thank you to my new subscribers i am so 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 grateful for you guys um i have like over 100 people who have subscribed to my channel i am so excited i am super thankful for you guys and for my returning subscribers that keep on coming over and over again thank you guys so much i hope you guys actually have an amazing time on the channel and you can suggest videos that you want to see in the channel on the channel and hopefully i actually get to it right so see you in my next video bye